day 31 picnic table talk here in the backyard at Saratoga. Travers week, we've got 11 stakes races coming up. Uh, joined with two handicappers, younger handicappers today, Will and Connor. Uh, first time at Saratoga for Connor. Uh, Will has been here before. Um, we've got a nice little card today coming in on that Travers Thursday. Good stakes race, race number nine, one mile on the turf, three year olds for 135K. Uh, we'll start off with this race and uh, where'd you land on, Connor? You know, it's, it's a good field. I like a lot of the horses, but I mean, one just catch my eye, it's Wonka, the 11. Uh, you know, he's a fast horse. You know, he's a turf horse. He usually races on seven furlongs, but what I really like about him is he starts out fast, but he keeps the pace and he's always trending towards the front. He's, you know, you know started off first place, came into second, uh, came into first at the end. I think with another furlong, he can, you know, can really push him over the edge in the first place. So on the stretch out here, going a little longer, looking at the number 11 Wonka for Billy Mott with Junior Alvarado up. That's a combo that's been pretty productive. Uh, first place and third, 43% of the time. Um, only winning at a 14% clip, but this is an opportunity here, especially on the Civic turf. We did have some moisture. We were off the turf yesterday, so it'll be interesting to see how the turf plays today. Playing more front. If you look at the Horse Racing Nation track trends report, we've really moved forward in the last week or two. Um, today we'll see it's a little interesting if there's going to be a cut in the turf after the rain for the last two days. We had a little over 0.6 inches of rain on that Monday and Tuesday. So where did you land, Will? Uh, I went a little different route. Uh, personally, I like the 7, Gino Romantica, a little bit more. Uh, it's a dirt horse. A little bit concerning. I'm hoping that the transition works well. It can push a little bit faster on a cleaner cut area. Um, the one thing that's concerning me is how fast it gets out of the gate. If it gets out fast enough and holds a tight spot near the lead, then I think it has enough gas at the end of a uh, mile area to push up to the front and finish strong. It's got a lot of experience in that sort of distance, and I think it'll finish well if it stays up at the front to start off out of the gate. So transitioning from dirt to turf there, four times starts for Chad Brown. Flavian Pratt up, 25% uh, clip those that they've been winning at. This was a $1 million purchase at the fall Keelan sale in 2020. It's interesting here, I'm actually gonna go a little bit different than you two. Um, I'm gonna play a, a longer shot horse on the front end. I'm gonna move to the one horse here, Miss Ge uh, Missy Greer. Um, Kendra Carmouche has been stealing race after race on the front end on this turf this year. Um, him and Danny Gargan are only at a 14% clip, but I think this horse has the opportunity to go to the front and keep going. That allowance race, two back, was running it, uh, one back was running against the bias. A uh, horse went first all the way around to the 16th pole and started to fade a little bit there. Um, it was actually bumped at the 16th and moved in if you watch the replay. So I'm interested to see how the horse can get it with a little bit of cleaner of the trip. I'm gonna focus on the number one horse here, Mrs. Greer. Uh, Missy Greer going to the front and keep on going on this turf. We have a phenomenal card today, 10 races, Travers week. Good luck with your bets. Well done.